Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, we're going to build a very simple custom plugin. Jackson here, welcome to the channel, my place on YouTube for all things WordPress. If you like a little bit of WordPress, I do encourage you to subscribe if you are new here. Down below is the description and loads of useful links for all things WordPress. Do check it out. Right then, okay, on with today's show. So creating custom plugins is, is a pretty in-depth subject, but this is specific, this tutorial specifically is for when you need to add custom code snippets to your website build without having to actually use a child theme or actually another plugin to actually add code snippets to your website. Uh, it's so simple to create a, a, a custom plugin in WordPress. It is unbelievably it is unbelievably easy. So in this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build your own simple custom plugin that you can add functions for your next website build. Right, let us create our plugin for our web project. I've got a, a demo install of a website here. Um, we need to add some code snippets as we discussed a little bit earlier, some bit of code that we do not want to put in our functions PHP file. We want to create our own plugin to handle that sort of code whenever we build a website. And as mentioned, it could be all sorts of stuff we find across different places on the interwebs where we're looking for just that little bit of guidance, a little bit of code. Uh, there's quite a few uh, WordPress code generators if you want to quickly add some snippets that will do stuff for you like create custom post types and that sort of stuff without um, installing plugins. Um, Chris and the guys over at uh, CSS Tricks always have some good snippets. Big fan of their, those guys for years. Obviously Stack Exchange. Pff, man, what would, we, what would we do without Stack Exchange? Even loads of blogs, uh, you know, the guys at Themeisle, uh, they're often posting snippets. And it's actually this, uh, it's actually one of the ones that's on here that we can use for our uh, example plugin. Uh, we'll come back to disabling the admin bar on the front end in just a second. So let's talk about what we need to create our plugin. Well, first up, grab yourself a code editor. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code, free download. If you don't have one, you can use text editor. It doesn't really matter what you use. And let's head over to uh, WordPress.org and have a look at the plugin developer handbook. Do not be afraid. Yes, the, uh, the plugin handbook uh, has got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of info. We don't need any of it. Well, we need one part of it. And that is essentially just how to create the construct the header for our plugin so that WordPress knows it's a plugin and therefore can pull in the functionality. And there's only one real section on here that we need to worry about for this very basic, by the way, as you know, this very basic plugin. And it, these are just the header requirements. Uh, now, literally, to create a WordPress plugin that is officially complete and working, all you need is this right here. That is it. So let's take a copy of that, head back to our code editor. We're gonna create a new file here. Uh, and the first thing we wanna do is save it. So we'll save it to our folder, uh, to our desktop folder that we're using for this plugin experiment. Uh, and we'll call it my project plugin. Uh, and we'll give it the .php file suffix um, and that's it. We've got our beginnings of our plugin. So first things first, we need to, as well as that little bit of code snippet from wordpress.org, we just need to put in the PHP tags and we don't need to put an end tag in there and we just paste in our plugin and we save that again. And that literally is your plugin created. Now you probably want to name your plugin uh, whatever your project is. So this is the hands web project, save that. And also I would enc encourage you, even if you're making just the basics of plugin, is just scroll down here and let's just put in a description. So let's get in a description for our plugin. Let's put that in there and we can just, if anyone else is looking at this in years to come, they will know handles the, the the custom functions for the hands site. 
And so anyone, any other developer looking at it will know exactly what you're going on about there. Save that up. Okay, so now we have got our basic plugin ready. We don't have any code in it yet. So let's go go back to our code snippets and we're going to use that um, disable the admin bar. And just so you know exactly what I'm talking about here, if we head over to hands. If we go to the front end of our, our site, we still see that admin bar here. Okay, so let's go to our code snippet, uh, take a copy of that snippet, get back to our editor and simply just paste that in. Now, whenever you do put in a code snippet, if it, always, for goodness sake, add a descri description for it so that anyone else who ev ever ends up doing any dev on your site will know what uh, is going on with this function um, if they can't get it from the code that's actually in there. All right, so we now have a fully ready functioning WordPress plugin ready to upload to our site. Well, nearly. We could upload it through FTP or uh, file manager or something in your on your host. But obviously, the more well-known way, as you probably know, is to uh, upload zip files to the WP admin plugin area. So let's do that. So if we go find our plugin that we've made, whoop, here it is. Uh, all we do is right click and go send to compressed zip folder. And there we have our compressed file. Right, let's get back to our WP admin. And here we have, we do see, we do have an actual fact, a admin bar at the top here. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's get to plugins, add new. We're not going to search for a plugin. We're going to upload our own plugin. And we're going to go choose file. And there is our desktop folder with our plugin inside. We're going to double click that. We're going to go install now. Activate our plugin. OK, let's have a look. Go to the front end. Shazam! And no admin bar. Amazing. Let's go back to get to our plugins and look at our active plugins. And here is our hands web project plugin. And if we deactivate that, obviously goes off that list, go back to our front end, boom, the header is back. And so there you go. That's how you create a simple project, uh, project specific WordPress plugin. So there you have it, the uh, very simple way to build a custom plugin so you can add functionality to your WordPress website for you or your client or whomever. Anyway, get your comments in below. Love to hear what you think about adding functionality to your WordPress websites um, or anything else for that matter in respect to web, uh, WordPress. Uh, but until next time, I shall see you later. <laughs>